Hi, my name is Thomas Kim. In this session and the next few subsequent sessions, we will learn about how to use SDG tuple and advanced iteration method. Advanced means parallelizable and extensible iteration for parallel algorithm. These links are for, for tuple C, CPP reference website. Also refer to the other links. And also, if you if you want to follow this video, this session, and in future sessions, please watch these videos if you haven't watched them. Tuple CPP reference web page, and this is Microsoft documentation, and this is also micro Microsoft documentation about CD Tuple. Please leave these three web pages. Also, to follow this this session of video, please in watch these videos if you haven't watched them. So, okay, let's get started. Open your Windows uh, File Explorer or Windows Explorer. Create a uh, working folder. For example, in my case, I will create tuple tutorial. Then in this folder, copy the folder path. Then start Visual uh, Studio 2017, go to Tool menu, Option, scroll down, Location here, Paste to your working folder. Okay. Then also, if you don't, if you haven't created this, how can I say, command prompt, please watch my previous video and create this command prompt. I will right click properties then I will change the starter folder to here click OK then if I click it it will move to our working folder here then CL version should should work also G++ version should work please note that we need to have latest version of C++ compiler both GNU compiler if you haven't installed the latest version of CL, Microsoft compiler, okay, or GNU compiler, then please watch my previous video, this video, how installing and also, also up, how to upgrade or update the C++ compiler. Also about how to create this command prompt, how to create this command prompt, please watch this video. Okay, now here I will create a pol I will create a new project and I will say I will create an empty blank solution select other pro Visual Studio project I will name it tuple motivation 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 solution I will name like this I created a blank solution Right click, add new project, then select Windows Desktop, Windows Desktop wizard here, just say single project 01, tuple, create like this, then click OK. Here select the console application, then do not select pre-compiled header, we will not use pre-compiled header. Because for compatibility with the GNU G++ compiler, then click OK. Okay, this file is created, but all this file is created here. I will copy code that I prepared in advance. I paste it. Okay, the, I prepared this code in in advance. Then I will explain how to use this. These, these programs, these classes that I prepared in advance in future sessions. This session is, is for motivation. Why we need tuple, SDD tuple class. To use C++ 2017 standard, 17 standard, right click, properties, here, C++ language, please select all configurations all platforms then click language here you have to select C++ 17 standard click OK 
okay then we can run it control f5 5 build and run if our build is successful it will run so it runs like this okay close it i will delete function main then i will list i will create all from scratch in class view in top we we, we find tuple cntl class here now we are going to use this class to use that here we can say t tuple cntr we make an instance ctr i would say ctr then we initialize we can initialize like this here i create vector in this is integer vector then i create a this is character then I create a string like this then we build CTR uh, CTR Built right in the seas, then we can iterate like this. For size t i equals zero, uh, i less than c t r uh, get max right, then plus plus i here s d d c out uh, c t r get element right i std and then now let's run it control f5 to build and run please note that this ctr class has integer vector 1 0 1 2 and character vector a b c and the string vector apple banana cherry all these instance zero a apple zero a apple one b uh, zero a banana zero a banana zero a cherry all instance all combinations are uh, enumerated like this we can also enumerate uh, in different order ctr Build left indices for size t i equals zero i ctr get elemental raft uh, get max the left plus plus i std c out ctr get element left std and there then here we put std c out std and there then control f5 to build and run okay it is running here so this 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 we iterated this is right indices first this is right indices right vector first this is right vector first and this is left vector first this is left vector this is right vector then iterated in different way like this this kind of th we can also add more elements like a ctr pushback in this case, we can insert uh, four, uh, three, D, Tango. We can insert more elements like this. Then we build, we build, we build them again. So new element Tango is added. So Tango, 
here tango is added it's, it iterates zero a apple up to zero this is the last element is d because we in push it back d and the last element is tango we inserted element like this we can also insert element like this ctr push back four five six seven we can insert arbitrarily like this and control f5 again now please note that it is now implemented like one two three four like until we iterate all elements up to seven you can see seven elements like this so the elements of this vector now turn to 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 7. We can uh, insert element arbitrarily, push back, or we can also insert SDR, push front, push front. Now I will push minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, like this, or CTR push front we will I will put uh, a B C I am pushing front then I can run again once like this y you can see we added elements properly like this these are now minus 3 C, C, B like this. We added elements to this CNTR vector arbitrarily that if we support uh, these three kind of uh, vectors. We can actually add more vectors like this. We can also insert vector to vector. For example, So we added vector to vector, integer vector. So we can still run it, Control F5. Sorry, I have to specify here, std, vector, int. I have to put the type here. Like this, save. Then Control F5 again. So we can we can now see vectors vectors are added like this. So this class is this class can hold arbitrary data type like this. In future sessions, we will develop this kind of application. Now I will now here we will build the, the same application CD. Couple motivation solution CD uh, 0 01 tuple here we will compile this application now using GNU compiler GCC please note that we have to use standard SDD C SDD C plus plus 17 standard 0 01 tuple CPP GEXE. I have some warnings. Sorry, I have to save it with the front encoding. Save as select save with encoding. It should be not Unicode, it should be UTF-8 or Korean code page. I will select the Korean code page. Save OK. Now let's try again. OK, it works. It compiled successful, successfully. G, E, X, E. OK, it also works successfully like this. So, uh, current setting is done in Unicode, so I changed its encoding to uh, NC text encoding 
In future sessions, I will describe how to implement this kind of container class, tuple container. Please subscribe my YouTube channel and please watch my next videos. Thank you for watching.